Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. How we doing, girls? Still eight minutes and 15 seconds. 14, 13, 12, 11. Yeah, yeah, okay, thanks, we get it. It's just taking so long. You, lots of action. It's a stance. Yeah, right, there's no mystery here. They're just doing spring cleaning. Except it's summer. Our dear owners have simply lost something. They destroy everything in the house whenever something goes missing. They are the wild ones. The last time it was our car keys. Another time it was a tennis racket. The worst of all was the soda bottle opener. They went out of their minds. My beautiful wedding ring. Why did I tell you? It's so, so precious to me. And besides, it was my grandmother's. <laughs> I just don't understand. Whenever I'm not wearing it, I always put it there. Okay, let's attack the rest of the house. You want me to use the sledgehammer this time or the wallpaper remover? No! Ah, the sledgehammer! I was just thinking, what if one of our darling animals swallowed it by mistake? Well, listen, if we don't turn up anything in the house, then we'll go straight to the vet for the x-rays. Did you hear what they said? Yes, they're finally gone. We've got the TV on to ourselves! <laughs> okay, guys, let's all be totally honest about this. Did one of you swallow that ring? Victoria. Mm -hmm. Oh, please. If I had swallowed it, I would have spit it out immediately. And believe me, I can tell the difference between a hairball and a ring. Eugenie? Impossible. My metabolism would never allow me to digest gold that is not 100% 24 carat. I admit it. I tried to once, but it got stuck in my beak. Who says it wasn't you, Washington? After all, it's easy to accuse others. Who swallowed the ring? Not to mention the remote control. No! We've got to find a solution before the Living Stones return. Yeah, what you really have to do is find a way to get the remote control before my soap begins. Otherwise, it's me who's going to be sending you back to the forest. The cake is ready! Magnificent. Right, we're going to have to wait until it's cooled down. Listen, I've given it some thought. We'll look in the yard, but if we don't find it there, we're going to the vets. A simple x-ray and we'll know if it's in one of their stomachs. It's a catastrophe. What's an x-ray, Wash? It's a thing that allows you to see everywhere, see through everything, and guess what they're gonna see in us? Hmm? <laughs> okay, little hint. It's made of metal and it goes up and down. In the elevator? Hmm. Uh, our zippers! Yes! Faster! Up, faster! Up, down, up, down! Come on! Spit! Are you gonna spit out that ring or what? Hmm. <gasps> Watch out! She's looking this way! We're gonna have to find another way. So, Sam, is it coming or what? Did you get the ring, did ya? Look, my favorite toy. It's amazing. I was sure it was lost forever. <gasps> Hit, expel. 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 H
You got the ring. Uh, what no. On the other hand, Susie knows exactly where the remote control is. Oh. Yippee! I'm going to be able to watch myself now. I still don't think you get it. If we don't find that ring right this second, we're all goners. Hey there, gang. What do you say to a little outing right about now? <laughs> I hate you all. That, x-rays, zippers, we may as well head straight for the forest right now, guys. No, I haven't said my last word yet. But I hope your stomach is up to this, Sam. Mm -hmm. Everything okay in there, Susie? Affirmative, Washington, but it's totally pitch black in here. Good luck, little one. Did you find the ring? No! It's not gonna be easy. You wouldn't believe the junkyard in Sam's stomach. You <sighs> were what? Awesome! Huh? Oh, that's so beautiful. Where's that music coming from? Did you just turn the radio on, honey? Mm -mm. Susie, this is no time to play piano. The ring! We're here, Susie, quick, hurry up! Well, it's make or break now, guys. Uh, you're here for x-rays? Uh, but that, uh, uh, that's not possible. <laughs> you have to make an appointment at least 48 hours in advance and put them on a very specific diet. What in the world are you talking about, Vladimir? Shh, you know very well that I hate the x-ray machine. It scares me. And besides, I am, uh, extremely busy. There is no way I can see so many patients right now. In fact, I'm full up. But there's nobody but us here. I must absolutely get my ring back. My uh, precious uh, ring, do you uh, understand? No, uh, oh, uh, very well then, uh, no problem. <laughs> what I should do is go verify the instructions manual. Oh, uh, what I mean is, uh, Velma, will you please fill out the four admissions forms? Four? One, two, three, four, and... But... But Susie, she's missing. Oh. Can we leave them with you? We uh. have to go back and get Susie, our canary. Come on, Vladimir. Uh. Let's go set up the x-ray machine. Uh. Uh. And now we have to get x-rayed? You guys sure have given me the royal treatment. <laughs> uh -huh. So? Nothing! It would take a lifetime to sort out everything in Sam's stomach. Yeah. Hey, no one has ever complained about my internal disorder before, and it was already pretty nice of me to let you go rummaging around. Yeah, sorry, Sam, it's true, but you really do eat a lot. You're yeah, right, and it's pretty easy to swallow a ring. Anybody could, especially without even knowing it. Ah, uh, right, so uh, I guess I'll be getting back to the mines. Yeah? My little Susie, perfect. I'll just call your owners and let them know while the vet runs you through the x-ray machine. <laughs> you are going to climb up there and stand behind the screen while I take your x-rays. And we will immediately be able to see everything you are hiding. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Velma! <laughs> Which button is it again that uh, turns on the machine? The big red button! And the light regulator? Well, you have to place the cursor on zero to turn it on. And then you increase the brightness little by little while turning the little knob on the left in order to sharpen the contrast. Vic, quick, mm -hmm. distract the vet. That way, we'll be able to quickly take off our costumes and we'll put them back on when we step out of the machine. And what's in it for me? Our kibble for the whole week? The pillow next to the radiator? Massages? You get to watch your favorite series on TV every single day. It's a deal. Hmm, weird. Velma? Now! Come on now, Vladimir. I've already shown you a thousand times. There, it's 
ready. Hmm. No sign of a ring. On the other hand, I'm going to have to prescribe a serious cure for the fat cat so we can get rid of all that junk. Hmm? What do you mean, fat? <laughs> Way to go, Vladimir. Excellent <laughs> analysis. I'm very proud of you. Come on now, quit pretending to be shy. Come out from behind there. So, uh -oh. did you find my ring? She's back! No sign of a ring. Too bad. Here, I wanted to apologize for having lost my cool earlier, so I baked you a cake. My cake! Huh? Oh, how sweet of you. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> ring was there in the cake all along. Perfect. Now, do you mind turning up the volume, Susie? Veronica, I have a confession to make. I love you. <sighs> Dr. Alessandro, why, I love you too. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. for breakfast. Now that's paradise. I don't get it. Where are all the trees that grow these delicious nuts? Say, you're right. I bet that Sam could find them in a blink. Do you think it was a good idea to leave them alone? I mean, a whole weekend's pretty long, isn't it? Don't worry, honey. Everything will be okay. As we speak, why, I bet they're fast asleep having sweet dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah? <laughs> I'm the Living Stone's new cat! <laughs> Listen to the voice of your conscience. The day you will have vanquished your fear is the day that Mitch shall no longer be a danger for you. It is only when you have surpassed your fear that you shall become a real cat. Because real cats are afraid of only one thing, water. But, but will, will you know how to find this jewel of feline, feline courage deep inside you, little wild boar? Wild boar. <laughs> <laughs> same nightmare, Sam? Every time we have to go see Mitch, it's the same story. Oh, is today the day? What was it he demanded from us this time to leave us alone? Not the TV! Oh no! My best, best, good, good, my almost best friend! But that's way too dangerous! The Living Stones will surely find out! The last few times it was already risky enough! Christ, did I forget the chicken? Hmm. Say, honey, did there used to be a kitchen table? <sighs> Nothing better than a good bed for a good nap! Yeah. That's weird. I don't remember sleeping on the floor. If the TV disappears, then they'll surely know it was us and we'll be kicked out. We're simply not going to give them the TV. I have an infallible plan. I always <gasps> knew you were the best, Wash. So, what is it? Ta-da! <laughs> we, too, can blackmail Mitch. Mm -hmm. We're going to tell him that if he keeps demanding things from us, we're going to embarrass him to death uh... by showing this totally ridiculous photo to everyone. Not bad, huh? It stinks! Mm -hmm. It'll never work. Mm -mm. Just wait and see how awesome my plan is. Go for it, Wash. I'm totally with you. My thoughts are anyway. I'll stay here and watch over the TV. Can we come with you? You're way too young. And that's why you haven't understood anything about my plan. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, is your film ever dumb. No, it's actually quite good. 
but you don't understand anything because you're too young. Boy, am I ever sick of hearing that. We're gonna show them how we're not too young at all. <laughs> We're gonna go play in the yard! See you later! Phew. It's not a couple of silly little pine trees that are gonna scare me. I used to live here in this forest. And in fact, I was kind of the king of the fo- <laughs> We should have left sooner. How are we ever gonna find him? <laughs> oh, there! It's him! <laughs> That was close. Hi there, Washington. <laughs> Everything cool? Your friend went off to the forest alone, and you, you're stuffing your face in front of the TV. That's because I'm stressed out. Moments like this, the only red thing works. You can't be down. They have to eat. So, where's my TV? It is, and will remain, at the Living Stones. Your days of blackmail are over, Mitch. Ha ha! What ha ha? Well, if you continue threatening to replace us at the Living Stones, I'll circulate this photo amongst all the animals in the forest. And for you, it'll be Shame City. Why, you won't be able to leave your cave without being the laughing stock of the whole forest. So, what do you say? No, Wash, please! I beg you, don't do that! <laughs> The girls were right. This video is dumb. And besides, it reminds me of the forest. Boy, I hope Wash makes it out okay. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm starting to stress out again. Absolutely gotta get something to eat. No, oh, no, I'm stressing. I'm really stressing out. I'm stress... No, Sam. Wash is getting us rid of Mitch. With what he's doing for us, there's no way you can eat his kibble. Then again, isn't it Wash who always says that those who are absent always lose in the end? Rats, I'm still totally stressed out. I must not have eaten enough. But if I was blackmailing you, it was just so I could see my friends. Meaning? Well, you guys, my friends, if I hadn't done that, would you have ever come to visit me? Uh, no. Mitch, don't cry, because now that I'm here, we could, uh... Why don't we play Clever Fox, like we used to, remember? You would hide and I would look for you. You were the best in the whole forest at that game. That's true, I was pretty good. In fact, you never found me. Do you think you could this time? Don't worry about that. I'll count while you take off your costume and go hide. What? Take off my costume? Well, yeah. Yes, you're not gonna play Clever Fox disguised as a dog. Hmm? You don't trust me, is that it? Go on then, leave! There's no point in playing if it's gonna be like that. No, I mean, of course I do. I'll do it, Mitch. Go on, start counting. <laughs> same game, same rules. No caves and no foxholes. One, two... Wash has been taking for a ride. Four, Can't you see that Mitch is putting on a nap? Six, seven, eight... Now, nine, what was it I did in the past to win Clever Fox every time? Ah, but of course, that's right. I always cheated. Oh, don't tell me he's going to fall for it. <laughs> Mitch will never find me here. So, who's the cleverest? Girl, clever fox. Cheating as usual, are we? I warned you, Wash, that if you didn't bring me the TV, I would take your place at the Living Stones. <laughs> Hey, where is it? I know he had a costume in here. Yeah, good move. Mitch will get his paws on Wash's costume, and it's thanks to us. Uh -huh. Is that right? See you later, loser. <gasps> Sam, Wash and the girls still haven't come home. What? Oh, no, don't tell me that. I'm going to start to stress. <laughs> All is lost. Mitch is gonna take over my place at the Living Stones, and I'm gonna spend all eternity here in this dark cave, alone and abandoned by all. Thinking of your super girlfriend who would have loved to help you, but who you treated like dirt? 
Susie, you genie, you wouldn't by any chance have an idea for getting me out of here. Oh, no. We're too young, remember? We can have ideas. Of course you can. And besides, that's not what I meant. It was just a figure of speech. <laughs> you know, kind of like when you say, uh... Um... Like when you say what? Uh, okay, okay. I'm sorry, girls. <laughs> Thanks, girls. So, shall we get my costume? Don't worry about it. I hid it so that Mitch will never find it. Must I remind you girls that I'm a fox after all? Clever is my middle name. Well, it's also Mitch's middle name because he found your costume and he's already gone to the Living Stones with it. What? If the Living Stones think that Mitch is their dog, all is lost and I shall spend the rest of eternity in the forest, alone, in the rain, the wind, the... Oh, all right, let's go. Sam, go get me something to eat while I hug my little Vicky and watch <laughs> my TV! No, oh, no, I was so stressed out that I ate everything! <laughs> Here you are! <gasps> you better find me something else while I finish this and make it snappy! Sam! Find him something to eat immediately! But there's nothing left! Somebody ate everything in the house! And in your costume? I know for a fact you always hide a chicken in your costume in case you get hungry. Yeah? No, no way! I swear! Uh, um, I'll go look in the oven! I didn't find anything! What? <laughs> Well, if that's how it is, I'm going to eat your friend's costume and take yours. And then I'll be the Living Stone's new cat! It's only when you have surpassed your fear that you shall become a real cat. The, the day you will have vanquished your fear the is the day that, that Mitch shall, shall no longer be a danger, danger to you. you ever try blackmailing us again, it'll be me who comes to see you in the forest. Fearless Sam! Sam the cat! I'm sorry, so sorry, honestly. I'll never bother you again. How did you do that? Whoa, you were like a, like a lion in there. You know, I'm a cat, and cats are afraid of only one thing, and that's, that's the forest. No, water, Sam. Cats are only afraid of water. But thanks anyway. Ah! <sighs> Honey, I just dreamt that Sam was actually a bear disguised as a cat. Oysters always bring on strange nightmares when you eat them for breakfast. <laughs> You're right. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Your new companion. You must be very nice to her, understand? I'm counting on each of you, all right? Honey, don't you think you're going a bit overboard? I'd like to remind you that this is my boss's pet, Sal. It's not my fault he asked me to look after her during the ham and bacon fair. Hello, my name is Brigitte. Victoria. Ooh, I just love your style. Me too. I just love my style. <laughs> I also love your sense of humor. Hey there, I'm Wash- I'm Sam. Pleased to meet you. You are as pretty as a garbage truck. Huh? Say what? Ignore him, Brigitte. He's the most boorish cat I've ever met. Come on, I'll show you around the house. It's no palace, but it's comfy. Oh, by the way, just call me Vic. That's what my friends call me. Well, what? 
Did I say something wrong? Sam, a garbage truck is not a compliment. If you want her to like you, make her laugh. Girls love that. Really? Cool. Funny humor is my strong point. Thanks, Wash. And this is the bathroom. No! <laughs> that was a good one, huh? I don't think we have the same sense of humor. Are you okay, Brigitte? Yeah. Uh, let's go. What a dork. Sam, I told you to make her laugh, not to ridicule her. No, what? When we see that joke on TV, everybody laughs. But not to impress a girl. Try offering her flowers. In Sentimental Hospital, Dr. Alessandro is always giving flowers to Veronica. Ha! Flowers? That is, like, so tacky. Huh? Ha! Because you think you know better than Dr. Alessandro? Veronica, I love you. Dr. Alessandro, I am not Veronica. I'm Angelica. <laughs> Here, Brigitte, this is for you, a present. Thank you, Sam, but uh, <laughs> I do. Will you just get lost along with your flowers? Can't you see they make her sick? Go away, Sam. Oh, why does it work with Dr. Alessandro and not with me? Yum, they're so delicious. <sighs> Boy, can he ever be a clumsy oaf. No, stop it. You're too hard on him. There's no way he could know I was allergic to flowers. Huh? It was really super sweet of him. I mean, how cute was that? Yeah. What? You don't mean you like him. Well, it is the first time a cat has ever offered me flowers. Don't tell me you'd go out with him. Yeah. No way, are you crazy? We're from two totally huh? different worlds. You don't mix cats and pigs. On the other hand, if he were a pig or a wild boar, who knows? Mm -hmm. Wash! She likes me! She likes me! <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? Can't you see? I'm taking off my costume so that Bridget will know that I'm a wild boar! What? Are you crazy? Do you want the living stones to send us back to the forest? Reminded that we left the forest because we couldn't take any more of it, and that's also why we wear costumes. In the forest, you can say farewell to Kibble, the sofa, and the TV. Maybe we could take the TV with us. And you could always watch your films on the Livingstones tablet, no? Listen up, Sam. Here's what I suggest. I take the Livingstones out for a walk, during which time you take off your costume and tell her everything. But be careful, not outside, huh? In the house. That way, we forget about the forest, you stay here, and everybody's happy. Okay, can we do that? Wash, you're the best! Another one of his great unfunny jokes, I bet. Forget it, Brigitte. No, why should I? Coming, Eugenie! If you get a bucket full of tomato sauce on the snout, whatever you do, don't come complaining to me. Ta-da! It's me, Sam! 100% uh -huh. wild boar, 99% pure pork. Sam, is that you? It really is you! Mm -hmm. Pull it out from under me, are you? <laughs> no, of course not. 21 P stops in half an hour, Wash? This is kind of worrisome. Mm -hmm. uh, my boss. Hello, sir. So, how's the ham and bacon fair going? 
What? N -n -n now? Uh, yes, I'm with her. Everything's fine. <laughs> You wish to speak with her? <laughs> uh, but, 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 of course. <laughs> uh, say hi to Daddy, Brigitte. Oink, oink. Uh, what? Horse? No, she's doing perfectly well. Uh, I'm going into a tunnel. Uh, sorry, I can't hear you anymore. He's arriving at our house in three minutes. Quick, we've got to go home. Hurry up, Wash. <laughs> Angelica, I will love you for the rest of my life, and even after. Oh, Dr. Alessandro! <laughs> A wild boar! Go on, feed it! Scram, you wild beast, you! Get your paws off, Brigitte! <laughs> Brigitte! Come back here! No, my boss! We stole for time! Brigitte will come home. She's a show pig after all. Ah, <laughs> sir, what a pleasure to see you. In fact, Brigitte was just... And a... taking a bath. In fact, I'm going to go back right now. We wanted her to be perfectly clean for you. Speed it up now. I'm in a hurry, Livingstone. Everything went well? <laughs> of course. Oh, I've never shown you my stamp collection, have I, boss? Just wait and see. It's quite unique. We've got to get stamp. Don't be scared. Having lived here myself, I can assure you that if you're extremely careful, the forest can be very charming. So this is your pretty little love nest? Well, in the forest, nests are usually for birds. We... I want to go home. Otherwise, I'm going to scream. Go home? But we can't. I don't even have my costume. Ah! Sam, Brigitte, great idea screaming. It would have taken us hours to find you otherwise. Here, isn't this what you are looking for? Yeah. Thank you, Eugenie. Can we go home now? You betcha. And the sooner the better, because I Thing. Can I have a word with you, Sam? Mm -hmm. Ah, sweetheart's little secret. Okay, so listen, you and me, it's not going to work. So I suggest we take a break. A long break. Huh? In fact, a very, very, very long break. <laughs> awesome! I didn't dare ask you myself. Eh? Oh, what a nice little bath, huh, Brigitte? Let's scrub behind the ears. <laughs> there! Voila! I've been waiting for five hours now. That's enough. I want to see my Brigitte. <laughs> it would be so much easier for you at the front door. Why do we absolutely have to go through the bathroom? Because I have to walk. I can't possibly show myself to my owner if I'm covered in mud, you bunch of wild ones. Oh. I want to see my Brigitte. Brigitte. Livingstone, for a minute there, I thought you were hiding something from me. Oh, sir, that's not my style at all. Good riddance. I thought you two were friends. Not really. I always had problems with the animals she hung out with. <clears throat> you gonna be okay, Sam? You don't miss her too much? Miss who? <laughs> Good old Sam. A wild boar dressed up as a cat with the memory of a goldfish. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. 
the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I always feel like an orphan when they go away, even when it's only for a few hours. Yo, now we play hide and seek! Yay! Can I play? Say, can I play with you? Okay, but you get to count first. Mom! Dad? But who are you supposed to be, kid? It's me, Wash! Washington, your son! <laughs> it's true, it's me! Uh -huh. Wash, my little boy! What is that ridiculous disguise? You ashamed to be a fox or what? Uh, it's a... Uh... Wash, what are you... Hey, hi there, how's it going? Remember me? Sam, Sam the Boar! <laughs> Here you go. We do the disguises because... Shh. If my folks find out we're living with humans, they'll be furious. They could drag us straight back to the forest, Sam. What's up? Have we stopped playing? Oh, they're so cute. What are your names, little cutie pie? Yes. You Eugenie? Susie? What is it with your dressing up obsession, son? It's not an obsession, Dad. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's fancy dress. Oh, we love fancy dress parties. Isn't that right? <laughs> is it? I thought we were playing hide and seek. Say, you haven't seen where I live. Wait till you see my lair. Come on. There you go. Ta-da! Son. Where's the mud? Where's the pebbles? Dead leaves! Rotting wood! The utility room! Show them the utility room! It's dark, it's a total mess, and it stinks to high heaven of dirty socks! They'll love it! Hmm? Ah, that's better. So much more like a proper lair. And this is my bedroom. Not bad, huh? Where is your spring? I sure am thirsty. Don't tell me you don't have running spring water in your lair. I know, buddy. Call that a spring? It's a puddle! Look, the water isn't even flowing. Ta-da! Water on tap. See that, honey? Huh? It's a magic spring. Flows whenever you want. See? Those modern lairs aren't so bad after all. <laughs> Who are those two clowns? Wash's parents. And we're obviously not meant to let on that we're living with humans. Are you telling me you have house domestic uh, pets in your last son? Uh, uh, no. Uh, it's, uh, I mean... Honestly, can't you see? It's his little sweetheart. Pleasure to meet you, miss. Uh, uh. There is no way I'm going to let anyone think I'm your sweetheart, okay? You get rid of them this minute or I'll tell them the real reason you're wearing that disguise. Vic, I beg of you, if you do that, they'll take me straight back to the forest and I'll be the disgrace of the family. I want them to feel proud of me. <sighs> if they do believe you're my sweetheart, half the battle is won. You're so beautiful, gracious, intelligent. Not wrong there. Okay, I'll play the game. But if you don't get rid of them fast, I'll take care of them myself. I'm <clears throat> warning you. I, I, I promise, Vic. Thank you. You won't regret this. Little <clears throat> Your dad's got a surprise for you! You won't regret this? That's what you said, wasn't it? You'll be so much happier like this. When it comes to comfort, there's nothing like a traditional lair. <laughs> oh dear, when the Livingstones see this, they're not going to be happy. <sighs> Relax, a quick lick of the brush and everything will be perfect when they get back. What happens if they get back early? 
No, they won't. My folks will be gone soon anyway. How's about a little chicken hunt? Just like the old days. What do you say, son? <laughs> Hey, uh, Dad, stop. Why go outside? I've got my own chicken coop right at home. Not bad, huh? That thing? A chicken coop? But where are the chickens? Inside. Just watch my hunting technique, Dad. <laughs> Go, Daddy-o! What is this abomination? Are you trying to poison me, son? Don't you have a proper chicken coop in the hood? Say, fresh meat! 's uh, uh, Vic's gotta show off her culinary talents. Vic, honey, can you come over here, please? <laughs> Do your little magic with this hamster. Sorry to say, my little queen bee hates people watching her cook. You'd be better off in the living room. As you wish, Washroo. Uh. <laughs> now run and hide. Get it? <laughs> Vic, you gotta help me. <laughs> What's that? Hamster on crude, Vic style. Translation, please. Two kibbles, two leaves, and my special ingredient inside. Vic, you are amazing. I know, but never, ever call me my little queen bee again, little washeroo. <laughs> Hamster on crude, Vic style. I'm sure it's much better than it looks. Yuck! It's worse than it looks. This is disgusting. You want to get rid of us, son? Is that it? Trying to tell us we're not welcome? No, I mean, uh, yeah, it's but... It's okay, son. We get it. We're on our way. Yeah, well played, Vic. How did you do that? <laughs> well, it only takes one little drop of cat pee to make even the best food totally inedible. But it is a trick I only pull in absolute emergencies, and the Living Stones will be home soon. Dad, I'm sorry, it's modern cuisine. You're not gonna leave just like that. Give me one good reason to stay, son. Just one! <laughs> yeah, I know, TV! What? 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 TV! That thing there, it's the best reason in the world to stay. Huh? But that's Elmo and Sandra! How did they get inside there? Elmo, Sandra? There must be a door somewhere. <laughs> no, it's just a box full of pictures. We even get to change the pictures using this special... Magic box! Stop! Stop humans! Quickly, we've got to get out of this lair. There's not a second to lose. Stop! Don't panic. The humans are trapped. They're inside the box. They can't get out. Are you sure? Dr. Alessandro, we have to operate on Michael as fast as we can. I think I broke his heart. <laughs> Humans are totally wacko. See that, honey? Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Thanks to you, my folks will leave here proud of me. Well, what do we do if they react like Sam the first time they ever watched TV? Yeah, my billion isn't finished yet. Don't panic. If I remember correctly, we turned up at the end of the episode. That means we still have a small chance of getting rid of them before the Living Stones get back. <laughs> Come to my arms, my boy. I am proud of you, son. I must admit that to begin with, you gave me a scare. I even wondered if you weren't living with humans. <laughs> This little box with humans hidden inside? That's brilliant! Congratulations, come son! On, let's go! And be sure to come see us in the forest with your friends! Oh. <laughs> Too late! We're done for! I don't believe it! How wonderful!
wonderful! Honey, have you seen this? Amazing! How did they ever guess it was the annual Woodland Festival? They've given the <laughs> whole living room a makeover! Look! There's even real mud! <laughs> ah, it's the Hendersons! What incredible fox costumes you're wearing! They look so real! Make yourselves comfortable, my friends. The party is just about to begin! <laughs> <laughs> ah, Mr. and Mrs. Henderson, you changed your costumes? It must be said, though, your fox costumes were very fetching. So that was it, your little secret? You disguise yourself to live with humans like some dumb poodle? I'm happy here, Dad. They adore me. I know it's not what you wanted for me, but... It doesn't matter, son. It's been so lovely to see where you really live, Wash. <laughs> it's not how I'd have wanted you to turn out, but if you're happy here, to me, you'll always be my little wild fox cub. Mwah. <laughs> 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 Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Come on, bunch of scaredy cats. The coast is clear. Nothing to worry about. Something feels off, Wash. Come on, I didn't inflate the pool for nothing. Well, I'm going in. Well, if you want your costumes back, you're gonna have to get your paws wet. I think he's adapting a little too easily to domestic life. Ah! Come on, jump and swim, bunch of chickens. With this heat wave, even the guys from the Animal Pounder at the beach today. You were saying about the pound guys? Yeah, right. Well, we all make mistakes. And besides, for you, it's just a misunderstanding. They'll quickly find out you're a cat. Maybe we should have left the cats. Are you nuts? An alley cat that hangs out with animals like that? Why, he's probably wild, too. And dangerous. <gasps> They were nothing but a bunch of wild animals! We're goners! You, yes, but me, no. I can always get readopted. All I have to do is wait for the first hikers to show up while I quietly nap in a pretty, calm little spot in the sun. A pretty and calm little spot in the sun! <laughs> we're not going there on a picnic, Vic. Do you want me to tell you what life in the forest is really like? I am sick and tired of you hanging around the foxhole all day. <laughs> Go out and play with the pack your age. <sighs> so, it looks like you've been thrown on again, Wash. <laughs> Not at all. What do you mean? I just like being outside where the weather is fine. <laughs> yeah, right. But it's raining now. Oh, look, over there. A ray of sunshine. <clears throat> My secret cave, the only good thing I had going for me. The only place in the forest where I felt protected and could dream of a better life. Mm. If only they made meat-flavored berries, then I wouldn't have to hunt anymore and all the animals could live happily in peace. Hey, Wash. Got anything to eat? Cause I'm hungry! <laughs> Oh, no, not that. Well, then I guess you better go get me something to eat. Now! <laughs> yeah, yeah, but what you're forgetting is that I'm a cat, and I can climb up a tree where nobody will be able to bother me. Are you hmm? crazy? Even way up high in the forest is super dangerous. <laughs> 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 Then 
too bad. Until a hiker comes along, I'll just adapt. As long as I keep my stomach full. <laughs> <laughs> Finding food is also going to be a hassle? <laughs> Nothing left to munch on. And your genie still hasn't come back yet. Good thing you're here to lift my spirits. Your beauty, your calm, your smile. It's me! Here, Sam! Some fresh bark! This should fill you up a bit! Then there's only one solution. I think the time has come, Sam. I can't. He's my friend. All the good times we had together. What? You ate your friend the acorn? Not even. At the last split second, an enormous boar grabbed it from under my nose. An alpha boar. There was nothing I could do. Yep. Survival of the fittest forever and ever. Yeah, well, I'm going to have the fittest eating out of my paw. With my charisma, I'll charm them all. That's the last thing you want to do. I tried it once and... Can I play with you guys? My brother went off to find something to eat and I'm bored all alone. Don't you have anyone your age to play with? No, I'm all alone. Come on, please. All right. <laughs> ah! 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 And it's a go! Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. That's not how it happened. You, you had me scared. For a moment I thought that... Yeah, well, okay, I admit I left out a bit. The truth is that right when I was almost about to escape... That's better. I prefer the whole truth. Being precise is important, Eugenie. <laughs> hey, don't worry, Vic. It was all a big joke. Hey, everything okay, Vic? We may have laid it on a bit heavy there. Why don't we tell her about something good that happened to us in the forest? Like what? Nothing good ever happened. Oh, I knew. How about the time we met? That's right. But uh, it was super hot that day. <sighs> Whew! In here! Thanks! If it hadn't been for you, we would have wound up stewed. Those humans are all crazy. Let's cut down the last one and we're off. Oh, over here! Thanks! My name is Susie. I'm Eugenie, and he's my brother Sam. And he's, um, he's... Washington, this is my secret cave, and you're all welcome here anytime. Other than Mitch, who occasionally stops by, no one will ever find us here. Uh, no one ever? You sure? Boy, I hope we don't find ourselves nose to nose with any wild animals. Uh, a metal monster! Do you see that bunny beaver asleep inside? Oh, he is too cute. Wow. That funny-looking animal lives peacefully with humans? I'll go ask him! Hey, little bunny beetle! Oh. <laughs> Susie! <laughs> Come on, Vic honey. Nap time's over. Metal monsters everywhere! Blockheads. Maybe those humans have taken the bunny beaver prisoner. We have to help him escape. Whoa, hang on there. Who are you? I'm neither a bunny nor a beaver, and even less a bunny beaver. My name is Victoria, and I'm a cat. In fact, I am a domesticated cat. What does domesticated mean? Are you guys from outer space or what? Domesticated means I live with humans. I'm a pet, and they are my humans. And
And this is a car, a machine to get you from one place to another. <laughs> yeah, and what's the that? <sighs> Relax. These are just moving pictures. It's called a movie. You love them. You coddle them. You want the absolute best for your faithful companions. Well, then give them K Goody Kibble. Nah, <laughs> you won't see me falling for that stuff. You can tell the whole thing's been made up. And yet, that's my life to a T, and the life of all other household pets in the city. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I remember. What a marvelous film. It was the feature version of Sentimental Hospital, my favorite series. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a plan for getting us out of here! Hush, please! Please tell me you've got a plan for getting us out of here! Vic, we're going home! Wait a sec! Take us with you! We want the same life! <laughs> That's the best one yet! It's my life, and I don't share. <laughs> what do we do now, Wash? We're gonna try our luck! really should repair this road. <gasps> I think we've got a flat tire. <gasps> Wait! I know how we're gonna get out of here. The truck has to hit a big pothole on the road like the Living Stones did. Pothole at 10 o'clock! Oh, rats is on the other side of the road! Well, then we'll throw the truck off course. At the count of three, everyone jump to my side. Seven, twelve, three. <laughs> I'm thirsty. Smoothie time! Susie, quick, grab the keys and open the back door. And we're off to our secret forest hideout. Where no hiker has ever stepped foot. Aren't you hungry? I could eat anything right now. A fox, a wild boar. And why not a cat while you're at it? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. No reason to panic. Let's analyze the situation calmly. Susie has managed to escape. The two guys in the front seat are crooks, and we're headed for their hideaway. In the worst part of the forest where they might decide to grill us like hot dogs and eat us for dinner? No, I can't see any reason to panic. How about in that bag there? Sure there's nothing to eat? <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't eat that if I were you. It smells so bad, you'd probably die of indigestion. Our costumes! They're here! We're saved! Yippee! Oh, yeah? <laughs> Yippee? And how, Mr. Einstein, do you plan on getting them? She's right, Sam. As long as we're locked up in here, we're still goners. <sighs> Farewell, my beloved city. I will never forget the first time I stepped onto your beautiful asphalt streets. Yeah. Back then, we didn't know anything, did we? Why, we even thought the Living Stones would adopt us without our costumes. You guys remember? Whoa! Now that's a foxhole from heaven. Don't you think that Vic's fur has been lackluster recently? Hmm. I've noticed that too. I think she must be lonely. It's not easy being an only cat, you know. We should maybe think of adopting some other pet friends for her. Dinner time, Vic! And then we'll go outside and enjoy the sun! 
I don't know what it is, but it's really appetizing. But what in the... <laughs> Selvig, feeling a little bit less lonely? A little less only child? Huh? Are you nuts? And who told you you could eat my kibble anyway? Kibble? You mean like in the commercial at the movies? So it was all true? Mush, <laughs> come check it out. There's tons more to eat. <laughs> You. If at the count of three you're not out of here, things are going <laughs> uh, Sorry, Victoria. Do you want to play with us? Oops. <laughs> Good one, Sam. <laughs> there. And never set a paw in here again. Promise. Swear. Promise. What's this? Whoa! Whoa! Movie's right at home. That was the day we discovered paradise. Uh, it wasn't paradise right away. Yeah, more like a living nightmare, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> you promised me you'd leave. So what? We're allowed to change our minds, aren't we? But, but your word is worthless then. You're nothing but a bunch of savages. Not really. Instead, you should look at this as a favor we're doing for you to help you fight off loneliness. And to help you get luster back into your fur. Uh, what are you talking about? What in the world ever happened to the Rose Chicken? My friends, the moment has come to put on our most winningest smiles. Huh? <gasps> ah! Wild animals! <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> is this the Animal Pound? There are four of them with bangs and tons of hair and claws and... Just come quick, okay? This is certainly the first time in history we've ever scared human beings. <laughs> City hunters, run for your lives! in the forest. We're being hunted. So what do we do? It's so weird. Animals are treated like kings in the city. Yeah, but they're all city animals. And we're wild animals. And they'll always think we're wild. There's nothing left to do but go back to the forest. Hey, look, a fox cub. That's proof that wild animals from the forest can also be adopted, no? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'll have you know it was thanks to me that we found out what it was. <laughs> hey, little cub! Don't be so discreet. Go for it. Oh. Yeah. It's not even real. It's fake fur. Check it out. Fake fur? Hey, that's exactly what we need to pass ourselves off as city animals. Look. Yeah, well, finding a store is a cinch. Getting the costumes out of it is something else. No humans in sight. Everyone into the fake fur and tail cave. On the double! Oh! Wild animals! That cave is packed with humans. Look! Over there! Nah, too wild. Too weird. better. It appears that all of the city animals have owners, like Victoria. With these costumes, we've got every chance in the world with the Livingstones. 
You can't be serious. Even disguised as household pets, the answer is no. Luckily, just after that, the Living Stones opened the door again and adopted us. And that was thanks to me, because I'm too cute. Not at all. It was thanks to my super adorable Puri. Knock off your nonsense. It was especially when they saw what a super brilliant dog I was. Only in your dreams, guys. If they adopted you, it was 100% thanks to me. Say what? I never told you this, but... Oh, my poor little Vic. Why, look, even her whiskers are falling out. Her loneliness is dragging her down. You know what I think? Nugget and Fluffy are all alone this summer. The neighbors are leaving and asked me if we could look after them. Oh, what a great idea. We have tons of room, and it'll do Vic a world of good. You, Vic, we're going to become the best friends in the whole world. As long as there are going to be parasites in this house, I'm going to do the choosing. Hey, what's going on? She's acting like she wants to go out, which certainly isn't like her at all. Oh, look! They are just adorable! Don't you think so, honey? Why do I get the feeling there will soon be seven of us in this house? You seriously did that for us? Yeah, well, I especially did it for me. Nugget and Fluffy are such total twits. I'll explain to the neighbors that we can't keep their cats this summer. <laughs> oh, we get our place in line stolen by a bunch of animals who look like they just walked out of the forest. Not all of them. Check out the dog. He's like too cute. <gasps> Huh? <laughs> I have absolutely got to find a way to get them out of there! Boy, am I ever starving. Hey, we hijacked an animal pound truck. Give me the key. Maybe there are some captured animals in the back. What would you say to some cat kebab? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Vic. After all you did for us, we would never let you down. Look at that! Dinner is served! <laughs> the police! Hey! Huh? Her costumes! It's not the police, it's the Living Stones! We were saved! Woohoo! But how did they find us? Oh, because of my collar. It's got a GPS tracking device so I can be found. All real household pets have one these days. Uh, yeah, but red alert, guys, because we don't have our costumes. And without our costumes, the Living Stones will never take us back. Yeah. What do you expect, guys? All good things come to an end. Hey, I'll send you a postcard. Hey! Psst, Susie! Susie! An animal pound truck abandoned out here? Well, my GPS reading indicates that Victoria's inside it. Let's just hope they're all in there together. Oh! And to think that I was just seconds from being all alone with the Living Stones. My dream has been shattered. The TV! Your kibble! The sofa! You're gonna have to squeeze in and find some room, darlings. Since we were so sad at having lost you, we agreed to keep Nugget and Fluffy for the entire summer. It's <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. <laughs> I 
I was just feeding our lovable little furballs. Hey! My lucky coat! <laughs> you weren't thinking of... But honey, it went out of fashion 50 years ago. So, it's a collector's item. My dad gave it to me. He wore it at Woodstock, the legendary 60s festival. Don't you realize? It's staying here. See you later, sweetie pies. Be good. Are you crazy? She's asleep. Don't wake her up. You know what she's like. Hey, Dick, can you loan me your kibble? Of course, Sam. A cat's got to share everything. Alvarez, what have you done to him, you maniac? No, it's not Alvarez. It's our master's own Zip Zip. Hilarious, huh? Whoa, awesome. It's just like Alvarez's fur. Make me for Alvarez jelly face snubby nose. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, Sam, go on. Tell us what his majesty has on his mind. <laughs> what a disgusting stink. Do you ever think to wash your mouth under his my fur? Okay. I hope the clown show's nearly finished. Since when does a cat dare to give orders to his majesty, King Alvarez? <laughs> I don't believe it. Whenever they dig out a new costume, they have to do something dumber than before. <laughs> Psst. You can't stay here. Alvarez isn't a furry funk. He got out of the wrong side of his dog bed this morning. Sure. So I advise him to come nowhere near me because I have an unfinished cat nap to complete. Ah. Whoa, whoa. Ah. What is a cat doing on my turf? I marked this tree this morning. Get out of here. Yeah? Well, I hope that someday you turn into a cat. Then you'll find out just what it's like having to constantly deal with goofballs like you. My kibble? I don't believe it! Sam! The only kibble I need are doggy delights because I'm worth it! Sam? Cousin of Sam? Say, if Alvarez catches you here, you'll be in deep trouble. You better skedaddle. Mm. Uh, what are the... Are you crazy? You'd better get out of here quick. This is Alvarez's turf. That's right, and I am Alvarez. No, it ain't you. What? Of course it's me. So can you tell me Alvarez's true name? Uh, uh, uh. Elmo, <laughs> satisfied now? Of course! Ho 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 ho! Get out, you foul beast! <laughs> Doc, it's the curse of Victoria! The day of reckoning has arrived! A cat? A cat? They've all gone screwy in that yard. <laughs> I don't, I don't believe it. It isn't me. Sure it is. It is you. It's all because of the curse of Victoria. She transformed you into a cat. <laughs> but that is ridiculous. Yeah, well, if I were you, I would go ask her to forgive me and lift the curse. Otherwise, you'll never be a dog again. Ask for a cat's forgiveness? But... No dog has ever stooped so low. So, everything's fine. You're a cat now. <laughs> Alvarez! 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 Okay, girls, that's enough. The Living Stones will be home soon. Sam, put your costume back on. Phew! I don't know how Alvarez does it. It's so hot in here. Ooh! <laughs> I am the fairy phantom from the attic! Hey, my costume! Where is it gone? Sam, how many times have I told you to be careful? Girls, come help us find it. Hey, guys. <gasps> what happened to your 
legendary sense of humor. Vic, uh, you haven't seen Sam's costume, have you? Sam's costume? Uh, no. Why? Mm -hmm. Oh, no! The Living Stones! You sure? Since when did they knock to come home? Good point. Washington, it's me, Alvarez. Alvarez? Yes. I've got to talk to Victoria. It's urgent. <laughs> was an Alvarez after all. No, it looked like a cat, and I'm sure I've already seen him someplace before. <laughs> Vic, you stole Sam's costume and put it on Alvarez. That's it, huh? <laughs> that was fantastic! You should have seen your faces! Well done, Vic. Without his costume, Sam will have to go back and live in the forest, and us too! And you know what it's like living in the forest? You know what it's like! Okay, okay, it was a joke. We'll go get your costume back. Okay, Sam, you're gonna hide here while we retrieve your costume and put this furry thing back on. If the Living Stones catch you before we get back, they better not find a wild boar in the house. But Wash, wearing that thing gets really hot. Wash? <laughs> the bird. He must know how to put an end to this curse. What if it contaminates us? We'll start barking, too. It's too dangerous. We've got to call up the professionals. Hello, animal pal. Alvarez is a big enough pain in the neck when he's around, but he's even more annoying when you have to go look for him. Quick, we gotta catch Alvarez before the pound guy, or Sam's costume will be lost forever! <laughs> we don't have that choice. We must get Sam's costume back, whatever it takes! <laughs> We definitely saw that weirdo cat charge down this alley. There was a bunch of other animals on his tail. Where did they get to? We're barking up the wrong tree. There's no cat here. Let's move on out. Holy kibble, that was a close call. Oh, that for that knucklehead Alvarez. Say, where did he get to? <laughs> Cursed beast! Are you willing to ask forgiveness and grovel at my paw so that I may lift this terrible curse? I'm sorry. So, so sorry. I'll never torment a cat again. I promise. That is better. Now, open your ears. I shall release you from your curse using my magic incantation. <laughs> Wala -la -la -la! the lucky guys. At least it's cold where they are. But I wouldn't get to be in their shoes. <laughs> Hello, honey pies. We're home. Okay, this magic spell number is truly hilarious, but uh, just what is your plan to get Sam's costume off Alvarez's back without him noticing? No idea. You're Mr. Wise Guy around here. You must have some idea, huh? Me? No way. Wash! Maybe I do. Is that it? Have I become a dog again? Silence! Okay, are you done yet? No need to take me for some bozo. Your magic baloney isn't working. Of course they do. The spells will summon your spirit clone. And this demon will help you find your true exterior. Open your eyes. Your clone is upon us. <laughs> Oh, is that me? I I don't believe it. It's me, but I'm me too, and we're both of us here. Awesome! <laughs> it's my costume. Oh, with this heat, I was ready to set sail for the ice and snow. Know much about penguins? They're cool. All I do know about penguins is that penguins didn't charge miles around town to get your costume back, Sam. So zip it up quick before Alvarez wakes up. <laughs> How about we 
we put it in the kitchen? Ugh, hang on a minute, dear. Just let me get out of my coat. Wow! See that, Sam? Dead ringer for Fluffy. Too right! Sam! <laughs> hey, honey, have you tidied away my lucky coat somewhere? <laughs> wow, what a crazy adventure that curse episode was. Huh? Well, I never. Alvarez's coat. My coat? Uh -huh. What coat? Alvarez, you've turned back into a dog! Obviously, a dog is for life. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. Veronica, I have a confession to make. I love you. Jesus served. Get it, Sam! Get it! Meow. How very odd. Sam didn't even try to catch that mouse. Do you think he's sick? Oh. <laughs> It'll be fine, darling. Everything's okay. Breathe deep. I cannot bear mice. I never could. When I was little, I was pursued by mice. You wouldn't think so, but they can be ferocious. Sam, what was that about? You're supposed to be a cat. And cats are supposed to chase mice. They love doing that. Chase mice? Are you crazy? They run way too fast. All cats chase mice, I'm telling you! If you don't, the Living Stones might start wondering about that and realize that you're not a real cat! Are you sure? Yes, and if they found that out, you know what would happen. We'd be forced to return to the forest, condemned to endless wandering in cold and darkness. <sighs> As for acting like a cat, Sam's far from winning the Academy Award. But for the worst melodramatic lead, you've got a good chance, Washington. Cool it, Vic. You couldn't understand. Nothing to panic about. I just have to revise our cohabitation contract with Biscuit. Biscuit? Biscuit, the mouse. He leaves the Living Stones alone, and in exchange, I give him a hefty piece of cheese every year, according to delivery. You do? Why don't you just pounce on him and chase him off and all that? Why should I? The Living Stones provide us with delicious kibble three times a day. <laughs> okay, should we do the usual? This year, Swiss cheese or Parmesan? Both. Both? Are you kidding? It's complicated enough finding one single piece of quality cheese. You want two? Hmm, I think you have a big problem on your paws in any case. <laughs> what do you mean, big? A cat who prefers cheese to mice? Bizarre, no? Mm, not in the least. I myself am tempted at times by a bit of blue cheese or cheddar. That's right, at times. The only explanation I can come up with is that creature is not a real cat. <laughs> this guy here, not a cat? Ridiculous! Sam is definitely a cat. Oh, and quite some cat, too. Right, Sam? You're a cat, aren't you? Meow! Meow right now! <laughs> Meow? <laughs> like I said, perhaps someone ought to open the Living Stone's eyes to this problem. <laughs> What's that? Let's just say if I happen to be in the right place at the right time, I could show them that their darling little cat doesn't behave like a real cat at all. They might end up understanding. You wouldn't dare. I've already disposed of bigger dudes than this. How do you mean big? Hmm? 
Mm -hmm. Let's not get all worked up about this. Surely we can find some common ground on the subject. Anyway, one piece of cheese, two pieces of cheese. <laughs> what difference does it make? Cats do not make deals with mice. The matter is closed. If you want me, you won't find me. We can't just wait around and do nothing. Biscuit has threatened to reveal our secret without warning. We have no choice. We must teach Sam to chase mice. Yay, why me? Because you're the cat. And we'll have the same problem every time a mouse sneaks into this house. <laughs> Susie, you be the mouse. Run and don't stop until Sam catches you. Here we go! What are you doing? Since we're about to be evicted, I'm taking advantage of the TV one last time. A hunter among hunters. The leopard can remain hidden for a very long time. A very, very long time. Sam, you are a genius! Okay, running isn't your strength, but waiting around without doing anything at all, that is your specialty. And? And so we just have to use the leopard method. Wait in ambush for Biscuit. Maybe we should just give Biscuit what he wants. <laughs> like cheese? Exactly. And where do we find loads of cheese? <laughs> Don't know. In the garbage. Listen carefully, Sam. There are three rules. Reactivity, reactivity, and most of all, whatever happens, reactivity. Can you repeat the second one? <laughs> as soon as Biscuit appears, you grab him and toss him in the bag. Simplicity, efficiency, reactivity. I get it. Things are going to reactivate. Yeah. Grab Biscuit, put him in your bag. Reactivity. Grab Biscuit, reactivity. Hi, dude. How are things? <laughs> Not bad, thanks. Just kind of hungry. Otherwise, great. Hey, I was just about to make myself a sandwich in the kitchen. Want me to bring you one? That is so cool. Thank you. <laughs> gotcha. I had my doubts, but this is so obvious. You are not a cat. Yay! Yay! Not so fast, <laughs> rat face. Hurry, Sam. You gotta catch him. <laughs> Reactivity! Let me see your thing already! Reactivity! Wash! He's on the sofa! Lucky with stale Swiss cheese for the rest of my years. They don't know who they're up against. Better now? Do you feel calmer? No, I do not. I will when those two so called cats get rid of that disgusting rodent. <laughs> yeah. Hurry, Sam! Now's the time to be more cat like than all the cats in the world put together. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be happening. Yeah? What is wrong with this cat? Can't even catch a mouse? Where's Victoria? Hey, it's just a matter of time before the Living Stones realize that you're not a real cat. Fancy a piece of cheese? <laughs> I'm begging you, Vic. Help us. Cats do not make deals with mice. If you don't help us, we're done for. You've got to teach Sam how to chase mice. Sam is at a breaking point, Vic. That mouse threatens to reveal his true identity at any moment. That guy can't sleep. Just look at him. He's a zombie. Well, the zombie sure has an appetite. <laughs> what Sam needs to catch Biscuit, I mean, apart from endurance, style, and technique, is a motive. What do you mean? What motive? If you can come up with a very good reason for him to go after that stupid mouse, he will. 
A motive. Motivation. Get it? Aha! I'm not so sure this is a good idea, darling. Well, I'm not gonna sit around and do nothing until our cats decide to take action. Look what I found, Sam! Your favorite cookies! Uh, actually, I'm not sure I'm gonna give you one. I wonder if you really, really want one. Oh, in that case, I could give you the whole packet. Oh, yes, oh, yes! But only if you manage to catch Biscuit. Then you can eat all of these cookies. <laughs> Gone for good? Nice work, Mr. Cat. We did it! We found some cheese! We're saved! Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Thanks, Washington. Well done. Good dog. Here you go, a little reward. Bring me up my newspaper, will you? You'll find me in my bedroom. You dogs are so pathetic. All those disgusting chores to chew on some old shoe. No way, it's delicious. And what's more, it's great for the teeth. <gasps> Good little doggy, who does everything daddy tells him to. Got a problem, Vic? You're not jealous by any chance. Are you joking? See us cats wash? We don't have to go bootlicking humans for love and appreciation. All we have to do is be ourselves. Beautiful, agile, gracious. Everything a dog is not. <laughs> Baloney! Dogs are a match for cats in every department. Yeah? So if that's true, can you, for example, explain to me why dogs can't climb trees, whereas cats can? Oh, yes, we can. It's just we have better things to do. I'll go climbing trees whenever you want, Vic. Yeah? Really? The first to grab the ribbon is the winner. But warning, if you fall, then... Elimination. Basically, if Wash falls, he loses. On your marks, get set! Looks like I've got time for a little cat nap. <sighs> Poor little Washington. Need a helping tail? Go on, grab hold. You're breaking my little heart. Hang on tight. Washington! 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 <laughs> Looks 
back, you've lost, Vic. Speaking as a cat, I will say that I am very disappointed with your performance, Victoria. But speaking as Wash's best friend, I am pleased with the result. Way to go, Wash. You won, boy. Yay! Washing cat! Washing cat! So, Vic, ready to pay the price for defeat? Yay! Don't even think of it. Oh, look at Daddy's cute little dog. <laughs> Okay, had enough? Are you through? Are you happy now? Can I take this off? <gasps> you, sweetie pie! Yes! Hey, Wash, not coming to say hi? What's he doing lying on Victoria's armchair? Come on, Wash, get up. Come say hi. Washington? Washington? Uh, what? How weird. See that, honey? Wash doesn't look like himself today. It looks like his head has gone flat. No, he's lost weight. Look, his skin is hanging off his bones. Okay, honey pie, double ration of kibble for you today. <laughs> Dog kibble, it's disgusting. Washington, you gotta eat. Go on. <laughs> Go on, little doggy, eat him up! <laughs> what are you laughing at? Wash got himself a double ration of kibble and we didn't! It isn't funny! But it isn't Wash! It's Vic wearing Wash's costume! Yeah? Okay, time for some exercise, Washington. That'll soon perk you up. <laughs> it's weird! It's like Wash's costume has grown too big for him! It's because it isn't Wash, Sam! It's Vic wearing Wash's costume! Yeah. Oh yeah! Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Uh, hang on, Wash wearing. No. Who's it again? Go on, Washington. Catch. <laughs> Your reflexes are rusty, Washington. You're beginning to worry me. Luckily, I have a nice, juicy, vitamin-enriched bone for you. You should see her, Wash. Vic is hopeless at playing the dog. What? It has to stop right this minute. I've spent two years training to create the perfect dog act, and Victoria's ruining it all in one afternoon. If she carries on like that, the living stones are gonna kick me out. Uh, you or Vic? Uh, me. I mean, Vic, and then me. If they throw Vic out wearing my dog costume, even if I do get it back, the Living Stones will never let me in the house again, Sam. Vic, give me my costume back. Like I wanted to keep it. You could have watched out. You nearly ruined all my efforts at passing as the perfect pooch. Let it be a lesson to you. I didn't ask to wear your crummy costume. Hey, and another thing. Are you ready to fess up that cats are better than dogs? <laughs> Not on your life, Vic. Okay, if that's the way it is, I'm keeping it. And don't expect me to play the perfect pooch. I am hopeless at dog stuff. The worst around. Wash, mm -hmm. Washington! My slippers! <laughs> Washington! My slippers! Sam, go tell Vic right this minute that I admit cats are better than dogs. And make her give me my costume back, please. Wash, you bad dog. Don't ever do that again. Otherwise, you're in for trouble. No, give me that, Washington. You've been a bad dog. You don't have a right to your... Washington, calm down! Stay there and don't move. It's punishment time for you, you naughty dog. Come on, girls. We're going to leave Washington on his own. He has to calm down. He's being punished. Wash, no, I mean, Wash told me to tell you that uh, that cats, uh, no, the dogs are better than cats. What? Dogs are better than cats? If it's war Wash wants, he's going to get it. Ah, peace and tranquility. It looks like Washington has finally calmed down. <laughs> Have you gone crazy? Who did that? Own up right this minute, or... Uh-oh! Uh Things are getting way out of hand! We better go warn Wash! What about my...
my costume. Is she gonna give it back? Yeah, I don't know. They cut it off into the yard, and Mr. Livingstone said you're punished and you have to stay on your own in the kitchen. You gotta stop bugging Vic. She's really mad. There's gonna be trouble. Huh? What? What kind of trouble? Ah! Washington, please calm down! What did you say to Victoria to wind her up like that? Exactly what you told me to say. The dogs are better than cats. Huh? Uh, no, that wasn't it. <laughs> You naughty, naughty dog, Washington. Go to bed this instant. I shall decide what punishment you deserve. What's going on, honey? I don't know what's got into Washington. He's behaving dreadfully. Uh-oh. We better get your costume back and back. I have an idea. Try to tell the Living Stones that Victoria has disappeared. That way, she'll be forced to show herself without my costume and we'll be able to... Yeah. Oh, Victoria, you are so sweet. Not like bad, bad Washington. Imagine if Wash attacked Vic or one of our other lovable sweetie pies. He's already attacked a postman. What if the next time he bites? I hate to say this, but for the safety of all of us, we must call the animal pound, honey. It's our duty. No, this is the end. Wait. Washington is sick. Maybe that's why he's behaving like this. You're right, honey. I'll call the vet this instant. You have called Madame Your Vet of this veterinary clinic. I'm obviously really busy right now. So don't call back until you've forgotten your problem. Let's go for a little walk to clear our minds, honey. We'll give him a call when we get back. Vic, where did you put my costume? So tell me. Are cats? Yes, cats are better than dogs. But for Pete's sake, give me back my costume. If I don't get to play the perfect pooch when they get home, I'm done for. Seeing as you're such a good little doggy, you should be able to find your costume all on your lonesome. With your legendary sense of smell. No, 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 no! Why don't you use your nose like Vic said? Because I'm not a real dog, Eugenie. You smell them. <laughs> they stink of cheesy feet. You can't smell anything else? Sure. In the background, there's something that smells good, a kind of perfume. That's Vic's aroma. She left her scent on the slippers when she ripped them apart. All you have to do is track down her odor. Visit everywhere she went, and eventually you're sure to find wherever she hid your costume. How do you know all that? You've never been a dog before. No, but in the forest, guys always kept stealing my acorns, so I had to learn to use my snout to find them. I found it. Vic hid my costume in the kibble. I can smell it. But where is it? Don't panic. It happens. It's what you call a false leap. Keep looking. There must be another trail. Going around in circles, are we? You cheat! As mock dogs go, I confess. I'm impressed with you. How about we make peace? How about we say a fox in dog disguise is equal to a cat? Like that idea? Look, honey, it looks like Wash is feeling better. Maybe we don't need to call the vet after all. Of course, it must be those vitamin enriched bones that made him crazy like that. He must be allergic to them. I'll throw them away. It's silly, I know, but I think I finally developed a taste for them. <laughs> What? Only fools never change their minds, no? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. It's a game! We're only 
you pretending I'm Lily the Unicorn? <laughs> Lily the Unicorn, that's totally for babies. Hogwash! Lily the Unicorn is amazing! If you say so. Okay, Sam, put your costume back on. Let's go outside and play something cool, maybe, huh? <laughs> What's up with you guys? You're doing great. How about yourself? You should watch what you're doing. You nearly squished my face off, and I gotta go perform on Animal Star, you knuckleheads. What's that I hear? Who dares argue in the land of wonder? What on earth is that? Well, you know, the Masters had this unicorn come visit, but she was about to leave. Have you gone out of your mind? What do you think you're playing at? At least I look like a unicorn, right? Get inside and zip up your rabbit costume before the Living Stones get back from the market. There is no more Eugenie. Now my name is Gigi, the happy unicorn. Okay, let me explain. A unicorn is an imaginary animal, which means that outside the TV, they don't exist. If the Living Stones discover you like that, you'll blow your cover straight away, and you can say farewell happiness and hello to a world of horror back in the forest. Too bad, because I put my rabbit costume in the trash. So from now on, it's unicorn or nothing. We're home. Sam, haul them off in the house. Susie, come with me. <laughs> Susie, keep watch while I get her costume back. Where on earth did she put it? Alert! Alert! Mr. Livingstone is gonna put the market basket in Gigi's hiding place! Too late! I can't believe it! It's incredible! Have you seen this, Sweetie Pies? A unicorn! Isn't it magnificent? Hey, honey! I found a baby unicorn in the shack in the yard. Isn't it amazing? I've always dreamt of having my own unicorn. And to think you said they didn't exist. Oh, yes, indeed. Have you seen this, sweetie pies? Oh, hey, where's Eugenie? Uh, she must be having her afternoon nap somewhere. Quick, a selfie. I've got to get it on my Hamstergram account. You must be hungry, cutie pie. Gibble all around, my lovely furballs. It's not every day your dream comes true. So, who is it that said farewell happiness and hello world of horror, yada, yada, yada? Not me. And here you can trot around to your heart's content. Hello, Mr. Snobby Nose. Let me introduce my lovely little marvel. A unicorn? <laughs> How ridiculous. Oh. It's the Animal Star TV show. Hello, yes. Huh? What do you mean? <clears throat> Animal Star canceled Alvarez. They found somebody better on a hamstergram account. Don't you realize what this means? It's an outrage. Which animal could possibly surpass Alvarez? Come on, you know what they say. See a unicorn and feel happy all day. Hi, <clears throat> Animal Star wants a phone interview with you. They even canceled an Afghan Greyhound to talk about your unicorn. <laughs> Sorry, important call to make. Let me leave you with your new friend, Susie. This is amazing! What do you want to do now that you're a unicorn? I want to make everybody happy, duh. And to begin with, with my magic horn and rainbow power, I name you Deputy of Happiness! Yippee! Everything I've dreamed of! Thank you, Gigi. Give me that remote control! Uh-huh! Uh -huh. Hush! With my magic horn and rainbow power, let me make your dearest dream come true! I name you Commander of the Remote Control! Mm. Sounds right. Banana pancakes! Win the holiday of a lifetime! And cream sauce with broccoli and... Sam, don't sulk! You heard what Gigi said! <laughs> with my magic horn and rainbow power, your dearest is granted. May you have all the kibble you can eat. Who do you want to thank? Thank you, Gigi. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, clowns, you're not through yet? There are folks trying to sleep around here. There's no need to be so unkind. Kindness is the food of life. Otherwise, it'll cost you one kibble in the naughty box. Pop mm -hmm. up. And what are you going to do 
next, you... Complaining is forbidden. That'll be two kibble now. But I don't have any. Don't lie to me. I know you stashed them under your pillow. What? Now you're up to three kibble. <sighs> yes, with my magic horn, I can indeed make you happy. What is your dearest wish? We want to have the same litter box as Vic. Her litter box is the best. They say it smells like cotton candy. I'd like the same neckerchief as Alvarez. He never lets me borrow it. With my magic horn and rainbow power, all of your wishes will be granted. Hmm. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? That's my litter box. Don't worry, you can share Sam's litter box. What? No way! That's not nice. One kibble. Oh. It's not a hat, it's my cravat! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Happiness is all about sharing. With my magic horn, I declare that Vincent has the right to wear his neckerchief hat every other day. <laughs> no complaining. Cough it up. One kibble in the naughty box. Totally but when everything is said and done... I decided to... Throw my legs! <laughs> 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 Mm -hmm. Say, dumbbells, quit the magic unicorn act, or there's gonna be trouble. Boo hoo hoo, we're so afraid. <laughs> you know that wild animals are forbidden in this yard. Well, so are imaginary animals, too. Really? See your unicorn? You'd better lock it up indoors right this instant, or else. What's all this? Not more arguments. She started it. Ah, 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 give me your paws. With my magic horn, I offer the ribbon of friendship. Go make peace, mm -hmm. or else. You gotta listen to Gigi. She can make us happy using her magic horn. Ever since she turned up, I've had all the kibble like you need. Ah, ah, ah. She's watching us, quick, let's be peaceful. But that is disgusting. Alvarez, what has happened to your dignity and your cravat? Here I was coming out to post photos of you on Hamstergram. <laughs> How horrific! You leave me no choice, Alvarez. I'm going to have to replace you with a magic animal even more magical than a unicorn. And he will make it onto Animal Star. An animal more magical than a unicorn? Whatever could that be? I intend to steal the horn of that ridiculous unicorn and become magic in her place. I shall make it onto Animal Star and win back my master's love. What is going on here? Uh, a wild animal? I'm calling the dog pound. Uh. Oh. Hello, animal pound. Uh, can't you see the poor little creature is terrorized? She must feel so lost. I shall take her back to the forest myself right this instant. goes, who's gonna give me all the kibble I can eat? Sam, there are worse matters at hand. If you're hungry, eat this. Thanks, Wash. <laughs> Eugenie's costume, she hid it in her magic horn. I'm just taking the baby boar back to the forest. You can help me look for Eugenie when you get home. I'm getting worried. <laughs> Eugenie, what are you doing here, beautiful? You haven't seen a baby boar, have you? Huh? He got out through the window? Okay, I guess he must have set off home. Come on, I have to introduce you to our extraordinary new friend. Mm -hmm. Say, where did she go? Phew! I looked everywhere. Nothing. Our unicorn has disappeared. You know, honey, that's the thing with magic animals. They appear and disappear just like that. But when we have such a magnificent crew of fantastic furry friends, who needs unicorns to be happy? No, oh, you're right, honey. So, what are you watching, Lily the Unicorn? Ha! Huh, that's for babies. We're watching Goliath the Dragon. Now that's cool! 
Okay with the dragon, but no fooling around this time, okay? <sighs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Everybody hooked up? Yeah! The Wild Bun Express is ready to go! All aboard! Cheers! Watch out! Tunnel coming up! Uh-oh. The Friday Express. Next stop, nowhere! <sighs> Phew, I'm exhausted. Time for a nice cup... Uh huh? What? But what's happening here? Ouch. Looks like the Wild One Express has reached the end of the line. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oops. Were you the ones who made all that mess? Uh, looks like we're really in for it now. We're to blame, too. They need space alicious and arrogance to stretch their legaroos. Hmm. Arrogance? Space alicious? What are you talking about? They need space. They need air. They need to stretch their legs. Let's go to the forest. <laughs> Mr. Livingstone, you are one of a kind. I simply adore you. <laughs> oh, no. You remember the last time we went to the forest? <laughs> There's me thinking we were off the hook. Me too. Get adventure and commune with Mother Nature. No barriers, no fences. Let's drop all our defenses. Well done, guys. Thanks to you, I want a trip to the forest. You're on your own on this one. We'll never survive in the forest, Wash. We're not wild anymore. Calm down. I may have an idea to get us back home fast, but we'll all have to pitch in. You too, Victoria. <laughs> um, okay. Maybe not you, Vic. <laughs> Nature in the hood. The adventure's looking good. <laughs> Looks like you can't wait to stretch those legaroos. That's perfect. We have everything we need. Uh, you think this is gonna work, Wash? Completely. We all go out, we wear them down, and when they're on their knees, all they'll want to do is jump straight back in the car and head home. Go! When can we go home where it's nice and warm? Soon. Take a look over there. I'm beat. Where's my bed? I gotta lie down. Incredible. I gotta admit, I'm impressed. Yeah, I know. I'm amazing. Everybody, back in the car. We How about we stay the whole weekend? What? <sighs> Great idea. Looks like they love the forest. They're having a ball. In the meantime, we could get some shut eyes. Luckily, I planned ahead. 
one tent in two seconds flat. <laughs> but, but, but I was sure. What happened? Oh, no, what a shame. We're going to have to go home. I also planned ahead. You're the best, Vic. I admit, it was a good idea. Not a great idea, but a good idea. Well, how about we build ourselves a cabin? Even better! I'll go fetch the wood. And I'll go fetch food. Let's live wild! <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've seen enough. Let's face it, guys. I'm pretty sure we need a plan B. G guys? Guys! Girls! Where are you guys? I gotta say, this mud bath sure does you good. Hey! Get out of there! If anybody sees you, living wild like an angry child, living free like a big green tree. Honey, I have the wood! We're off to get adventure and commute with Mother Nature. <laughs> What's got it into you? You nearly blew our cover. Sorry, Wash. There was no resisting. It's my instincts. Me too. I can feel my instincts coming back. It's the forest. We have to find some way back home and fast. Otherwise, we're going to turn back into wild beasts. But uh, that's the answer. Hmm. Let's see. What do we have here? Metals, berries, roots, acorns. Ouch! Uh, no, that's a pebble. <laughs> Of course there are, honey. It's nature, you know. There's roe deer, squirrels... <laughs> boars and foxes? <laughs> Head to the car! <laughs> Hear that, my friends? Head to the car? That means we're going home! Yeah! Listen! The engine's already running! Quick! <laughs> <laughs> Where are the living stones? That wasn't the engine! It's Vic snoring! Vic! 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 <laughs> oh, so you came back. The living stones aren't with you? Well, no, that's just it. We thought they were up the car. You should have seen it, Vic. Wash and Sam played it being wild beasts and scared them off. They took to their heels like rabbits. How are we going to get home now if we don't even know where they are? I'm warning you, Wash. I refuse to spend one more second in this lousy forest, so you'd better find them if you know what's good for you. It was all part of my plan. What's the problem? Okay, guys, let's make like I said. Yeah, what was your plan again? I can't remember. Play along, Sam. Oh, where has that dumb car gone? We're... we're lost. Darling, what if those wild beasts come back? Now, now, don't panic. Nothing's going to happen to us. Using my legendary fox sense of smell, we'll find our masters in... <laughs> the Living Stones! Quick, this way! Yeah, that's Mitch's cave! Maybe he's gobbled up Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone! And we'll never get to go home again! Look at him! This is one cute bear! So much cuter than the bear that invaded our bedroom! I was so afraid! Oh, Teddy! What a lovely, fluffy teddy bear! What? Look who's here! They found us! Well done, guys! Come and say hello to our new friend! He's adorable! Hi, yeah, guys. Welcome to my home. You know what, honey? I've just had the craziest idea. How about we hang out here for a few days? Mr. Livingstone, I adore you more and more. <laughs> it looks like we're going to be living together. <laughs> Okay, Vic. I've got something to confess. We couldn't find the living stones. We're gonna have to live in the forest for the rest of our lives. No hard feelings, huh? 
I warned you! Mmm. Thank you, honey. What a delicious feast. This bear is so adorable, don't you think, honey? Mm -hmm. What's happened to Wash? He's not going to leave us alone with Mitch, is he? I'm back, my friend. a cute teddy bear after all. There is something slightly wild about him. The car! Well done, Wash. Good dog. Safety first. <laughs> Let's go home. Yeah, honey. We're, we're, we're through with st stretching our like a ruse. Oh. Thanks for the claw job, Vic. I gotta confess, you found a pretty good way out for once. <laughs> Next time, I swear I'll have my payback. <laughs> Those pine cones are quite good. Ah! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. Goodbye, darlings. I'm going to miss you so much. Honey, we're only going on vacation for a few days, you know. But we were supposed to all go together, Mr. I forgot if animals were permitted at the yoga retreat. But I've stocked up on kibble and they have the yard to stretch and run around in. So I don't think we have anything to worry about. See you later, alligators. <laughs> and have a great vacation. What's a vacation? Think about it, Sam. If they're supposed to be great, then it's surely something to eat. Like candy they've hidden around the house. Yay! Vacations! Where do they hide the vacations? <sighs> Boy, you guys are dumb. <laughs> this is a vacation. Whoa, check it out! Humans without their costumes on. Wash, do you think we could have a vacation too? Do they exist for animals too? Uh, yes and no. Vacations are first and foremost meant for humans who work all year long. It's their rest period, if you like. And since as cats, we spend pretty much our whole lives resting, it's kind of like we're on a permanent vacation. Speaking of which, <sighs> it's time for my nap. Ready? <sighs> a nap without them around, the ideal vacation. Get it, get it, get it! This, Eugenie, is the result of years of hard work 24-7. And sometimes, you know, I just get so tired. Hey, what if we went on vacation? Yeah. Didn't Vic just say that cats were always on vacation? Real cats, perhaps, but not you, Sam, nor me, nor any of us. We work just like humans by disguising ourselves and meowing and barking. We work hard as actors every single day. Of course, Wash is right. We deserve vacations, too! <laughs> vacations!
you're nothing but a gang of wild savages! Uh, sorry. It's really because in order to take a real vacation, you have to leave home. Look. Without our costumes? Way too dangerous. Right, so whose turn is it on the ironing board? Nah, I'm staying put. It looks like too much work. Sam's right. We're on a real vacation, away from here. <laughs> oh. Look, Wash, it's vacation time. Everybody has left. The neighborhood is empty. All right. OK, we'll go. TV all to myself. Since the actor Juan Carlos has gone on vacation, your favorite soap, Sentimental Hospital, will not be broadcast this week. What? No! Ah, walking around without any clothes. Awesome! What a great idea taking a vacation. By the way, where are we going? We've got to find a super place, a dream vacation, paradise on Earth. I've got an idea! Uh, yeah, right. Not enough sand. Not enough water. Ah, no way! Reminds me too much of the forest. I found it! Follow me! Hey, what the heck are those bums doing on our turf? Wow! Wait, this is even better than my wildest dreams! All that's missing is a roast chicken! Ta-da! Ha-ha! <laughs> Good move, Sam! of savages. Yuck. Boy, talk about a dream vacation. Hey, this is our vacation spot. So get lost, you bunch of hicks. Hey, chill, guys. There's room here for all of us. We can get along like civilized animals, can't we? You? Civilized animals? Bunch of savages, more like. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up. This is a vacation spot for city animals. So if you want a place to relax and vacation, find something in your stinking forest. Go on, get lost. <laughs> Who do they think they are? We live in this city, too. And we were even here before them. Yes, so they're the ones you have to leave. What do we do now? Go home? Are you kidding? We're not going to get chased out by a bunch of silly raccoons. I didn't want to resort to this, but since they're treating us like a bunch of savages, we're going to show them what real savages are really like. This place is ours, so get out! Have you guys looked in a mirror? Oh, I'm so scared! <laughs> no, I just don't understand. Usually when we do that, it scares everyone to death. Maybe after having imitated household pets for so long, we've totally lost our touch with our wildness. Get lost! Otherwise, I'm really gonna lose my cool. Go back 
to your dunghill, you bunch of hicks. <laughs> That reminds me of the forest! <laughs> Bingo! I just remembered what it was like to be a real savage! is almost like a vacation, actually. I got a bit carried away. No hard feelings? Hurry up, Sam! Those guys are completely wacko. Bunch of savages! <laughs> hey, sweetie pies! Where are you? Too late! We're goners! Look! I'm warning you now. The next time, you're on your own. Hurry up, they're coming out! Ah, there you are. You don't know how much I've missed you, my darlings. I couldn't really go on vacation without you guys. So we're all going to the beach together. <gasps> I just have to finish loading the car. Thanks, Vic. But, uh, say, is it like because you missed us so much that you saved us? Huh? Say what? what? Me? No way, are you nuts? Really? Uh... No, I don't do hugs! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. It's not a game. The Livingstones are getting ready for Auntie Rachel to visit. Auntie Rachel? What's that? Auntie Rachels are a subspecies of humans who are a pain in the rear because they can't stand cats. <laughs> and dogs? Do they like dogs? <laughs> dogs? Seriously, Wash? Does anyone actually like dogs? <laughs> <laughs> Try and hang in there. It's only for a few days. I'm gonna prove to you that everybody loves dogs, Vic. Let the boss man do his shtick. <laughs> this should be a gas. Hey, Wash! Wash! <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> Washington! Dog, leave Auntie alone. Oh, now who is this splendid little creature? Oh, no, 
my favorite pillow. No way is she going Sit to- Sit down here, my little VB. Ugh, I can't watch this. What a priceless treasure. The spitting image of Apricot. My darling BB when I was a little girl. Well, this one's our Washington. Sugar Auntie. Sugar, sugar, BB. Isn't that yummy, little BB? That was a good idea to get rid of that horrible critter you used to have. Boy, did she ever stink. Uh, what critter? Uh, Victoria? Uh, but we still have her, Auntie. In fact, I'll be honest, the family has gotten much bigger. Hey there, darlings! Come say hello to Auntie Rachel! <laughs> hey, you! Get lost, you disgusting creature, you! Show! Show! Ooh, and Auntie's off her rocker! So you've got yourself three new stink balls? One wasn't enough? Sam, girls, go into the kitchen. We'll introduce you later, okay? Ta-da! Take a look at Auntie's BB, heavyweight champion of the world! Hey, I win some sugar sugars too! BB! Ah, when I hear the word sugar sugar, sorry guys, duty call! No, it's not fair. And all that because he's wearing a BB costume and we're not. Ah, uh, come on, quit Let's go play hide and go pig! Great idea! But it's Wash's turn to play wolf! Don't worry, we'll go get him! Last one there's a stink bug! Hey Wash, you gotta come play hide and go pig with us? Oh, be sure, and it's my turn to play the wolf! Uh, 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 BB! You're not playing with those ugly little stink balls! Shoo! Shoo! Out of here! And playing hide and go pig with Wash. Oh, oh, my. Oh, oh, my. Oh, oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Is everything okay, Auntie? Things couldn't be worse. Those stink balls of yours are bothering my baby and me. We're going for a walk. Yeah? Uh, very well. Uh, have a nice walk? Have a nice walk? And where, pray tell, is the stroller? The... the... stroller? Well, of course! You don't think BB's going to walk on all fours, do you? And bring me his coat, too, please! <laughs> Washington? Washington? <laughs> You going to a costume party? Because I have never seen such a stuff. Whoa, check out Mommy's darling little doggy. Hey, sweetheart, you want to make some room in your taxi for us? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what a pretty collar. Look at that, BB. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Washington, he really doesn't look very good. <laughs> yeah, right. Sugar Sugar Galore is singing color. Sir Wash is leading the high life. He just doesn't have time to play hide and go pig with his friends anymore. He's got no choice, Sam. If we could only somehow console him. I've got an idea. Just make sure you're ready, okay? Oh! oh. Get those back to me right now, you little feathered punk, you! Flash, you okay? Well, I've seen better days. Better? You've got a musical collar, sugar, sugar galore. Go for a stroll in a stroller. You're a star, buddy, a star. What more do you want? A mountain of sausages? You just don't understand, Sam. We dreamed of all that, sure, but with Auntie Rachel, it's not a dream. It's a nightmare. I'd rather go back and live in the forest. Hey, cheer up. It'll be over soon. Auntie will leave and everything will go back to normal. Red alert! Annie's on a rampage! Oh, what a patch! Yeah. If she thinks for one second she can fool Auntie Rachel, she's the dumbest bird I've ever seen. The first 
this boat out of here tomorrow morning. We? You got it. Bibby and me. I'm certainly not leaving him in this circus with a bunch of thieves and stink balls. Certainly not, Auntie. Washington is part of our family. Very well, then. I'll just have to move in here. I'll have my mail forwarded tomorrow. <laughs> well, actually, you're right. It's going to be hard for us, but we really can't deprive Washington of a dream life with you. Go on. rather go back and live in the forest than with that crazy old bat? I don't believe it. He really left? Oh, poor Wash. We have to go find him. <gasps> We've got to first get rid of Auntie, otherwise Wash will never want to come home. But Auntie will never leave without her BB. If you're interested, I've got an idea. It's not like I really want to see Washington return to the house, but if it might help me get my favorite pillow back. BB has disappeared! Costume. Yeah, well, um, we should have it any minute now. Don't worry, we got everything totally under control. I heard that uh, now they make uh, night kibble for cats. Do you really, really want me to get Wash's costume for you? Washington. We just dropped him like an old sock. We really are bad masters. Whoa. Whoa. Washington? Good dog! You came home. Oh no! But then Auntie's going to come back too! Mm -hmm. Here we are, Pepe! All we've got now is home, Pepe! Pepe! Honey, we got a card from Annie Rachel. Keep wash, she says. She has just adopted an ostrich who reminds her of Cherry, the ostrich she had when she was a little girl. See, Wash, but if she comes back one day. Yes, yeah, Sam, promise. You can still keep the collar. Hmm? <laughs> oh, no! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Hello, 
Now, everybody, it's time for Singing in the Shower, the show that gets your morning rocking. And with no further ado, let's welcome Josephine, who's going to sing her latest hit live from her bathroom. Wouldn't drain all your brain cells to let some of us sleep? When you don't know how to sing, you keep quiet, okay? First of all, we know how to sing. That's what you think. I happen to have perfect ears, and I can tell you that you guys sing like a bunch of elephants. Huh? What's so special about your ear? My ear is perfect. That means I know when you're singing on key or off, and you guys are off, way, way, way off, and too loud, so. Hey, cut it out, Vic. They're allowed to have fun. Sure, in total silence. Keep it up, girls, and pretty soon it's you who will be on TV. <laughs> Sorry? It means good morning in Dolphin. Ah, your new learn while you sleep method. Is it really working? Like a charm, as you can see. Thank you, Washington. Good job. <laughs> oh, honey, look at this. Why don't we sign Susie up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Girls, girls, stop! Susie, the Living Stones want to sign you up for a singing canary contest. <laughs> Are you nuts? Susie, if you sing, the Living Stones will find out that you're not a real canary, which means a one-way ticket back to the forest! Huh? Why wouldn't I be able to sing like a canary, huh? Uh, because you're a blackbird? Susie, <laughs> what would you say to a little musical rehearsal, huh? I'd like to find out if you're good enough to enter a contest. I'm going to play you a little number on the flute, and then I want you to repeat it as faithfully as possible. Your turn, Susie. Good. What is this horror show? What in the world is this circus? Mr. Livingstone is quickly understanding that Susie doesn't sing like a canary. So, in two minutes tops, we'll all be found out and sent packing into the forest. Any other questions? What singing? What a voice! Why, Susie, that's marvelous! And it's not like I'm surrounded by a bunch of winners, either. In Dolphin, breakfast is called. <laughs> Honey, can I borrow your tablet? Susie turns out to be a diva of a singer. It would be a shame not to enter her in the contest. But of course, honey, I always knew Susie was talented. <laughs> mm. What do you think Vic meant when she said she wasn't surrounded by a bunch of winners? Nothing. That's just Vic. You know how she is. What's important is that Mr. Livingstone is persuaded now that Susie is a real canary, and we can hang out and tranquilly watch TV. Before our live broadcast of the world-famous Canary Singing Contest, we've got an exclusive interview of the president of the jury who has kindly opened his home to us. How about a word of advice to all the canaries watching us who have entered tomorrow's contest? Well, practice like your life depended on it, and don't cheat. I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away, and every bird that's ever... We've got to find a way to stop your taking part in this contest, Susie. It's way too risky. But I want to enter the contest! Susie, Mr. Snobby Nose is not like Mr. Livingstone. He's an expert. He'll find out right from the first note that you're not a real canary. You don't understand. When I was little, everyone made fun of me. In fact, I'm going to be your personal trainer. Sam, that's super nice of you, but I'm not sure that a wild boar cat is the best person to teach a blackbird how to sing like a canary. I've got a better idea. By listening to a canary while you're asleep, your subconscious will learn how to sing. And tomorrow for the contest, you'll be brilliant. Just like Mrs. Levingstone and her dolphins. Honey, you wouldn't have seen my headphones and tablet by any chance? Ah! 
and uh, a canary? <laughs> no, that's a lion. I can't believe it, Wash. Please don't tell me you forgot to put that canary video on repeat play. Yeah, uh, uh, no, I mean, I, I don't know, why? Because there were other videos streaming after that. And so Susie has memorized every single animal sound except the one we're interested in. Way to go, Mr. Brain Surgeon. Oh, hey, no problem. All we have to do is put the canary video back on. Hmm? Oh, no. I don't believe it! Don't worry, Wash. Maybe we could just go to Mr. Snobby Nose. Oh, yeah, of course. So we can tell him to his face that Susie's not a real canary, give him our costumes, and then head back to the forest? Got any other brilliant ideas, Sam? Uh, no. I can't think of any other solution for listening to canary singing. I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away. Of course! Sam, you're Susie, <laughs> where are you? Time to go! Lend me your costume, Susie. I've got an idea that will help us stall for time. Well, well, Susie. You seem to be in fine shape for the contest. In fact, it looks like you've put on some weight. I just hope you still fit into your cage. <laughs> go on, hop in. Oh, Susie, it's no time to play. It's time to Coast go. Coast is clear. Get back here! <laughs> Susie! Ouch! Come on, Alvarez, hurry up. Even though the contest won't start without us, that's no reason to show up late. <laughs> All right, Susie, you're on. A half a tone higher, Susie. There. Perfect. Come, come now. No reason to get stage fright like that, Susie. Everything's going to be just fine. Honey, I'm leaving. Good luck. Yay, where's your genie? Even with a canary costume, she couldn't have flown away, could she? Oh, no! Eugenie! And welcome to the International Canary Singing Contest! How about a big round of applause for Hubert, our first contestant! What? I'll cut off my left ear if that bird is a canary. He's a robin at best. And our first contestant has been disqualified after only two and 57 one hundredth of a second. Our jury president has wasted no time in letting us know that he will be inflexible when it comes to cheating. We're goners! Eugenie doesn't stand a chance! And now for our second contestant, Myrtle! What a joke! That song was pre-recorded! Incredible! Myrtle has just been disqualified! Will Susie, our third canary, have more luck than our first two contestants? I can't watch this. Susie, begin! The jury is getting impatient! <laughs> oh, cool, isn't it? If she doesn't win the contest with that... I can tell you that's no canary, but... What in the world is this bizarre specimen? Fly away, Eugenie, uh -huh. quick! He's going to discover your disguise! Very impressive. This majestic winged creature appears to be a distant cousin of the Sumatra Tam Tam bird. Good heavens, honey! Why the long face? What happened? Susie's not a real canary. She's an exotic bird. A distant cousin of the Chickatoomy Tam Tam bird, or something like that. And it's strictly forbidden to keep such exotic birds in captivity. Honey, do you realize that all this time we've been breaking the law? Shouldn't you call the vet just to be 100% sure about this? Susie, go sing into the phone to make the vet think that you're a real canary. It's our only chance! Susie's not a real canary? What in the world is this all about? Well, that's what Mr. Snobby knows, the jury president said, and... Ah! Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be! Susie just asked you if the coffee's ready in Dolphin! Can you believe that? Uh -huh. 
I don't know what kind of nonsense is going on in your house, but allow me to say without the hint of a doubt that if that is indeed Susie singing, she is 100% canary. And now, if you will excuse me, I am very busy. Right, now where was I? Well, there you go, honey. Mr. Snobby Nose was mistaken. It's, uh, human, you know? You're not dead, huh? I have to agree, they're pretty good. And it's all thanks to me. Well, you should have brought that canary instead. He would have won the contest. He's singing the Trombado Canary Fug in C major to perfection. I swear it's the same canary. But I just don't understand. He started singing like my rabbit. Must have been stage fright or something. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. Okay, kitty kibble, pillow, fave toy, we're we rocking. Sentimental Hospital, Veronica. Dr. Alessandro, why I love you too. Welcome to my new edition of Kibble Run. Open to all the animals in disguise on the block. The first one will win the Kibble Cup. Yay! <laughs> and may the best beast win. Okay, guys, ready? Wow, good one, Sam. You almost sound like a real cat. And why wouldn't I sound like a real cat? I am a real cat. <laughs> <laughs> a real cat? Yeah, right. And I'm a wild boar in the sky. <laughs> what is that thing? Wow! Catnip! <laughs> Cats just love that stuff. <laughs> Give me that right now, you fucking warthog, you. What's going into him? No idea. He's just trying to be clever, I suppose. At least I hope so. Yes, he is. <laughs> and I've got lots of yummy salmon kibble. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam, what's gotten into you? Just look at Victoria. You squashed her like a pancake. She's gone all limp, like a rag doll. Look. You deserve the angry eyes treatment. Yeah. You just look at that. How can I possibly resist? Come here, you. Hmm. Uh, you okay, Victoria? No, come. Little Sammy is happy. He's so happy. I have never heard him purr like that before. Right, so enough already. I've got repairs to do. But before that, a nice shower and gotta hide the kibble. Hey, Sam, uh, be careful, okay? You're not a real cat. Not a real cat? That's not cat, that, in that. That's not cat, in that. Meow! That's not cat, I am a real cat. That's it. We're gonna have to do something fast to get him back. What a magnificent series. What emotion. What a oh, I love this series. Say, just between us cats, how about lending me your fave toy that smells so good? Yeah, that's for our favorite wild boar. Enjoy, Sam. I'm sure you'll feel much better after this. What is this stuff? Acorns? What in the world am I supposed to do with those? I only eat kibble. Kitty kibble. Yeah. <laughs> You're sick. Sam? You're 
not a cat, you're a wild boar. A wild animal like me. We come from the forest! <laughs> What kind of nonsense is that? I am a cat, and cats sure don't hang out with dogs. And as for your bowl of rotten acorns, take them for yourself! This isn't gonna be easy. No. <laughs> What's gotten into him? I'm losing my best friend. Hey, these things aren't so bad after all. A bit harder than teeth, but not bad at all. Mind giving me some? <laughs> Weird. A dog, a rabbit, and a canary eating acorns together? Maybe I shouldn't have brought home kibble after all. Meow! First it's my sofa, then my kibble, and now my ball. Enough is enough. Huh? Unless... Hey, Sam, check it out. Nugget and Fluffy are waiting to play with you in the yard. Seriously? Cool! Thanks, Victoria! Yay! What's that? Yeah. Peace at last. Boy, I love my life. Those acorns really weren't bad at all. You think there are any left? Don't move, I'll go look. It's really kind of weird what's happened to Sam. Any thoughts, Victoria? None. All I know is that ever since he knocked his head on the mirror, he's become inseparable. <gasps> of course! That's it! Sam lost his memory and doesn't know who he is anymore. Oh, yeah? And how would you know that, huh? Okay, in Sentimental Hospital, Dr. Alessandro has a motorcycle accident and hits his head. And since the first thing he sees when he wakes up is the doctor who's come to his rescue, he thinks he's a stethoscope. It's the same with Sam. He hit his head, lost his memory, and when he saw his reflection in the mirror, he thought he was a cat. Unbelievable! And do you have any idea where he is? Mm, I think he went into the yard to play with the neighbors. Nugget and Fluffy? Given how nosy they are, if Sam's convinced he's a real cat and he gets too chummy with them, they're gonna unmask him and we'll be next. Girls, we've gotta get him back inside. Take your time. <sighs> and then he says to me, wild boars don't know how to purr. Can you believe it? <laughs> he called me a wild boar. Sam, <laughs> mind coming over here for a sec? Just a minute, girls. Sam, chill out, okay? They're not your friends. You've got to come home right this second. Buzz off, stinking dog. And why, pray tell, should I return to a house with a dog in it anyway? Sam, try and remember you're a wild boar. You're a wild animal like us, the forest. Hold that. That's me really? right now. Anyway, all dogs lie all the time. I'm going back on the roof amongst my own kind. <sighs> No way. He's just too weird. He says we're all wild. Then we come from the forest, you know. Complete nonsense. From yeah. where? The forest? You're wild? Oh, no. Yeah, but he's always saying bizarre things. For sure. You know what dogs are like. Unbelievable. My best friend is going to tell the neighbors everything and we're going to have to return to the forest. Out of the question. He's got to get his memory back right now. Our lives depend on it. Victoria, you've got to help us save Sam. And why does that concern me? Because Sam surely didn't just stumble on Nugget and Fluffy out of the blue, right? I have no idea what you're talking about. Girls, your turn. Victoria, no! no not, not the, the forest! forest not, not the forest! Oh, all right, I'll help you. <laughs> hey! Calm down now and listen, Victoria. Thank you, Washington. So, Dr. Alessandro gets his memory back when he has the exact same motorcycle accident. <laughs> That's silly. Are you, uh, serious? Completely. Except that Sam can't be wearing his costume. He has to see himself as he really is in the mirror. Gotcha! Eugenie, Susie, follow me. We're gonna reenact the race just like it happened. Make the quick for the sewer dive. Is this a joke the or what? <sighs> when it rains, it pours. <laughs> and so then I tell hey, him, Sam, yeah? mind coming over here for a sec? Coming. I'll be right back. <laughs> Phew, I thought he'd never leave. He's even weirder than that city friend of his. The Kibble Cup race is on again! The first one to catch the other wins this awesome bucket of kibble! Against you? What are you doing? 
scheme. That, Sam, that is my costume. Just like yours, or Susie's, or Eugenie's. Look! Yeah? Ta -da! Ah! It's even worse than I thought! I gotta go tell the girls right now! Oh no, my costume! We've gotta stop him! And we really are goners. All I have to do now is sit down and wait until they take me back to the forest. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. No, we've still got a chance. Yeah. Wash is back. Okay. Hurry up, he's super heavy. Sam, look in the mirror. Here I am, girls. Well, just look at this, Sam. A chicken was clogging the machine. Sam? Uh, Sam, where are you? Why were you meowing like that? A wild boar, a wild yeah. boar. We've got to be fast, girls. Mr. Livingstone is coming. Where in the world has Sam gone to now? Sam? What's going on here? What are you doing in the sink? Right, well, I'm going back to my repairs. Glad to see you're back, Sam. Yeah, we missed you a ton. <laughs> Girls, get the mirror ready. I have the feeling he thinks he might be a rabbit now. Here we go again. <laughs> Sam thinks he's a rabbit now. Okay. <laughs> 